What's up, Jason? Chris here, the owner of CMP Marketing and Design. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do to bring more customers straight to your business using a few different strategies that work perfectly in less densely populated, populated areas, such as the one you're in. Right now, the strategies I'm going to go over with you today are going to be Facebook ads, Google ads, and your Google business profile and how they actually capture regions rather than just specific areas, which works perfectly in the area that you're in. But the first thing I want to go over are your, is your page, right? So the first thing I notice here is that you are really, really heavily integrated in the community. Uh, you do a lot of awesome stuff here, uh, working within the community, you know, promoting other businesses and things happening within your community. So it seems like you've been there for a long time. You take a lot of pride in where you are. And that's absolutely amazing, right? It's going to help your, brand, uh, your branding out incredibly. Um, one thing I would recommend is to get a little bit more promotion going, right? Try to get some things that get a little bit more uh, eyes on your profile. Um, the, the thing I notice here is you have 100 people following, you have 93 people uh, liking it, which is awesome, uh, but you don't yet have a, a large enough following to where you're getting a ton of people when you're posting things like this uh, for them to be able to appreciate it and call you, right? The more eyes you have, the better. And then once you promote really, really engaging content, you show things like you know, you're engaged in the community and you're doing all these great things, you will get such a bigger response out of it. So first and foremost, priority number one would be getting more eyes to your profile. And you could do that in a couple different ways. You could, you know, create a post saying, you know, free giveaway, um, you know, we're doing a half off pressure washing or something along those lines. You just have to like and share this post and you have to like the page. Um, you could do anything along those lines, but really, really try to push that to be able to get, you know, 500, 1,000 people to like and follow you. That way, when you're making posts like this, you're getting a lot more engagement and you could even make money off of a post rather than having to run some specific kind of ad to get a couple more jobs coming in this week. But over and above all, I like the profile and I think you're doing a really great job with it. It's pretty complete and you know, you're off to an amazing start here. But now I'm going to go into these different strategies. And the second thing I noticed is that you do have a website. It's a Google website that they offer you when you start your Google business profile. And this is amazing, right? It's an awesome place to be able to send your customers. But at the same time, it's not optimizable to be able to actually generate your revenue, which I can go over in a separate video. Um, but it's awesome that you have one of these in the first place, right? Now, the first topic I'm going to go over with you is Google business profile. The reason why Google business profile is so amazing is because people are organically looking for you. So if they're looking at pressure washing Pensacola, or uh, pressure washing can Canton mint. Uh, I'm probably butchering that, but you know, if they're looking up there, you're they're getting the options right here. You're the first thing that they see, other than if a Google ad pops up here. And this is the first organic session. This is where most people go to find a business, right? A lot of people go down here to the websites. You have people that look at Google business profiles. You have people that click on the first thing they see, which is why ads are great. And you have people that go all the way down to the websites. A lot of people are going more and more to this Google business profile, which makes it imperative to getting local customers. And the reason why it's so cool is that not only can you capture, let's say if you did it in Pensacola, you can capture a Pensacola and a 20 mile radius around Pensacola, depending on how much power you push to your profile. And I'm going to go over the ways that you can actually do that here in just a second. But the cool thing about the Google business profile as well is you can also capture all of those near me keywords. So let's say your Google business profile was set up right over here, right? Right where this pin dropped. The more power you push to it, the larger the area it's going to cover. And now you have people from, let's say, like, like I said, again, up to a 20 mile radius, depending on how much power you push to it, looking at pressure washing near me or lawn care near me or any of those different services that you offer. They're calling you because you're popping up in this first position. You're the most relevant option for them. You have great reviews and all these different things. And you're getting that local business, right? Which makes it a perfect strategy for local customers. And once again, it captures a region rather than just a specific area, which the same thing happens with Google ads. Um, the really cool thing about Google ads is the first thing that people see a lot of people click on the first thing. I'm one of those people that clicks on the first thing uh, that I see when I go and look up something and people search things differently, right? So if you have your Google business profile set up and your Google ads and you're popping up here twice when people seeing you, you're going to get a massive amount of intake and an increase in percentage of the amount of people that are actually calling you. And they might not even have to click on your ad, but the fact that you're there and here your two places and everybody else is just one, you're going to have that much of a better chance to actually get, get that customer. So going into the biggest things that go over that uh, rank your Google business profile, citations first and foremost. And I, I'm going to breeze over this stuff because I don't want this video to be uh, 30 minutes long. Um, 
but citations are your your business information submitted in the directory sites, right? So your business name, address, and phone number are the most important things. We could also put your branded logo, any of the services that you offer, your description, all of those different things are gonna make these citations even that much more powerful. But having the citation in the first place, you know, your, your information such as uh, on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Manta, any of those directory sites is going to be a massive intake and power for your Google Business Profile. How many reviews and how well you're rated on your Google Business Profile is also a major factor. Now your location-based relevance, that means in the keywords and the posts on your Google Business Profile, in your description, um, and so on and so forth. If you have these keywords such as, uh, you know, wherever it is that you're trying to rank higher in, such as Pensacola or any of these other locations, if you have those names, those keywords, those words, in that content, you're gonna rank higher in those areas. Same thing with pressure washing, power washing, all of those tips and different types of keywords as well, you are also gonna rank higher for those types of words. So there's location relevance and then there's service relevance. And when you add them together, you rank a lot higher for both of those things in the areas that you're trying to rank higher in and get business in, right? Photo optimization and geotagging. What photo optimization is, is you wanna optimize the photo, you wanna make it the right file size, you also want to make it the right size in general, right? So, you know, if it, it should be a square. Uh, 720 by 720 would be the minimum recommended amount. I believe it's 1040 by 1040 uh, is the optimal size for a Google Business Profile post specifically, but you want it to be square, right? Um, also, your geotagging. This is the this is almost like just tagging a location onto your picture, right? That means it's going to give you a lot more relevance in that specific location that you tag because it makes it makes you look like you're doing jobs in those areas. Keyword relevance, I just went over with you uh, with the location-based relevance. Once again, power washing, pressure washing. If you add more of those keywords in there, you're going to rank higher for those services. How much content and how much your branding is too. These go hand in hand because the amount of social media sites that you have connected to your Google business profile is going to create your brand hub, right? It's going to create your brand umbrella. and Google really wants to rank brands more than it wants to rank just single businesses. So that's going to increase your ranking like crazy. And the amount of content and the amount of relevance and optimization you have on all of that content on all of your social media sites that are connected to your Google business profile, that's also going to increase your ranking like, like crazy. Your website ranking, right? Right now, you don't have an opportunity to have local schema coding because this is a Google site. But once you actually get your own personal website, adding this in there makes a huge difference in ranking. Your Q and A's, uh, the more Q and A's you have and the more relevant you are with all this information on your Q and A's, that's going to also increase your ranking and the accuracy of your information across the web, all right? Facebook ads is the second strategy and this is awesome because if you do these right, you can get leads, good leads for up to five to $15 per lead, right? If not, obviously it's gonna cost a lot more. The biggest things you wanna focus on here is your before and after pictures or promo video for your media. The promo video should be a high performing video, right? So something you already tested with TikTok, got a lot of engagement, um, or something that you know gets engagement, right? Before and after pictures are great. Make sure you take them from the same exact spot. Make sure it's the same time of day and they're all clear. Make sure they're collaged, right? So make sure the before and after are both in the same picture and that is going to also give you incredible results as long as they are very good, very clear pictures. Your targeting, you really wanna know your ideal market and your ideal client demographics for this. Same thing with your ad copy. But over and above all, Facebook's gonna slowly optimize your targeting for you, right? So if you make it very general in the beginning, no, no demographics, no anything, um, the more people that react to your ads, the more, the more Facebook's going to optimize your ad towards those types of people. Your ad copy is the absolute most important part of Facebook ads, right? If you're writing an ad to everyone, you're really writing an ad to no one. You have to speak directly to your ideal customer and get them to pay attention to you and get ready to pull the trigger, right? The biggest thing here is focusing on what they actually care about, what their pain points are, what their emotional triggers are, what they, what they value most. Not just the logical side of, hey, I have the service, you know, it can do this, it can do this, you know, I have all of these reviews, that's logical, right? You need to find what they care about and speak to those things. And you have to be patient and test different methods and ads because every single market is different and, we're, when, and will react differently. If you have an ad, if you, let's say, take an ad idea from somebody in a different market, it might not really work that well because you have a completely different demographic, you have a different ideal customer, uh, and, and so on and so forth, right? So Google ads is the third thing. And I like these most in the beginning because they're more intent driven, right? So what that means is that people are already looking for the service. And we can also analyze the data in the beginning, seeing how many people are searching for these services, how many people, you know, typically buy on these services, how many people, how many clicks, um, and, and so on and so forth. So it's a lot more data driven that way as well. Now, both of these are amazing strategies and they both capture different markets. The, the Facebook ads captures the market of people who didn't necessarily weren't necessarily looking for the service and Google ads are capturing people that are actively looking for the service. 
Now, I don't want to go over all these in detail, so I'm just going to leave this information on the screen because, once again, don't want it to be a 30-minute video. Uh, but I'm going to leave this up here for you to pause and read through. And these are going to be the biggest things that you want to focus on when starting off your Google Ads campaign, right, specifically for pressure washing. Now, your landing page is going to be critical. You cannot just send people to your website. It's not going to react the same. You having a highly converting landing page is going to be the key to your success in Google Ads and a lot of times in Facebook Ads as well, unless you're doing a messenger campaign or a lead form campaign. So these are going to be the biggest things to focus on on your landing page. I need to scroll down a little bit. And this is just an example of your return on investment for Google Ads. Let's say your average cost per click is about a dollar, right? And it takes about 10 to 20 clicks to get a lead. And on average, it takes two leads to land a deal. Most of the time, just one to two, right? And on, that means on average, it takes 20 to $40 to land a deal. And if your average profit per job is only 200 bucks, you'd be making five to 10 times higher than what you're spending on your ads in your return on investment. Now, I actually did a little bit of research already for Google Ads in your area, and there is over 5,000 people on a monthly basis searching for your services, and these are all relevant searches, right? Power washing, house washing, pressure washing, your me pressure washing services, commercial pressure washing, all of these are completely relevant to you. And just imagine how many customers are out there waiting, looking for your services in the areas that you target. By the way, I only targeted uh, three counties, Baldwin County, Escambia County, and Santa Rosa County, great near you. So this is a very, very targeted range. And Jason, I'm not sure where your margins are specifically, but if you multiplied your average profit per job, the number of jobs you would get, if you took over this entire area on Google Organics, on Google Ads, on Facebook Ads, both Google and Facebook, people looking for your services and people didn't even know that they needed your services. If you dominated that entire region, how much money do you think you could be making this year if you did this? And this is what I do for a living. While this video is going to help you start generating a really good amount of revenue, if you want to step it up, go after larger areas, more keywords, or if you just have any questions whatsoever about any of this, you're more than welcome to shoot me a message back. You can give me a call or text at 330-978-5004. Either way, I would really appreciate just a line of feedback so I know whether or not you've got some value out of this video. But thank you so much, Jason. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon, my man.